Hey guys, how's it going? So this evening, Aaron and I and Benjamin, we are all gonna be working on trimming up some trees. So over the course of this spring slash early summer, we had some really heavy rainstorms, which our stuff, our trees and things are not used to, and they really lowered the canopies on some of our plants. So we wanna go around and trim some stuff up. And really like this time of year, middle of summer, it's okay to do a little bit of architectural pruning like that if some branches are getting in the way, and that's really what's going on, um, is that like on our big pine trees, the branches are so low that they're kind of shrouding our angel statue, and it is, like there's some branches that are low enough to where it makes it hard to walk. So we're going to take care of those and then also limb up some small maple trees that we have over on the west side. It's not the best time of year to do any major pruning. Like you wouldn't want to prune a bunch of a tree away, but it is a good time of year to see what's dead in your tree because you can see what has leaves and what doesn't. So it's really a good time to get any dead out of trees and then just to do some minor pruning like we're doing tonight. And Falco just sent out a bunch of their loppers for us to try out. You can see a few of them there on the gator. Um, I honestly am not as well versed in the lopper department as I am with the hand pruners. You guys know I use the Falco 2s and have for years. I love, love those hand pruners. They fit my hand really well, um, which not all of them do. Um, anyway, we thought we would show you what we have here and give them a whirl. Hey, what are you dudes doing? Playing with the ball. Oh, <laughs> did that hit the side of your foot? A little bit. <laughs> That's funny. Look at this, you guys, while we're at it. I think this is my favorite. Aaron, this is my favorite that this area has ever looked. Yeah. Superbina Stormburst. Superbina. Superbina Stormburst. Uh, Truffula Pink Gomfrina. And then in the back, and I almost thought when I was planting it, I thought this is gonna be kind of a waste to plant the meteor shower back there but there's always a gap, like a little gap between the Russian sage and the urn. And I just thought it would amp it up and I think it's beautiful. Look at that. I know that's not the point of what we're doing out here, but boy, sometimes you just gotta stop, drink it in. That's what it's all about. All right, while they're playing with their ball, I'll show you guys these pruners real quick. So these are all the real long ones. You can get the same versions of these pruners with shorter handles, which honestly, if you're doing a lot of work are a little bit easier to manage. But right here on this side, this is the Falco 22. This is like the granddaddy of professional loppers right here. So they're forged aluminum, so they're quite heavy. I mean, they're like four and a half pounds, but for loppers, if you're doing a lot of work, they might like, for me, they would, tire me out they probably wouldn't tire Aaron out um, but this is the type that will last forever because they are so so strong Aaron's gonna demonstrate the gear so See, there's check this well out. they're a bypass they right open and they close <laughs> thank you Vanna no what were you looking for well I the bypass thing so uh, there's no gear in this one this is the classic oh that one doesn't have a gear yeah all the rest of these have a gear inside which help they open a little bit wider yeah. and like give you a certain percentage, like 35% extra torque. Tor <laughs> I don't know what the <laughs> word is, but there's They take to... a little bit of pressure off of you. Like yeah. you're able to put a little bit more. You can do more than what you would normally do. Right. It's got an internal, I think it's called a cam. Mm. What's that one called? That one's a. This is a, a 220. And these are hollow tube. These are aluminum hollow tubes. So of course a lot lighter weight. Yeah, these are more... Those are like less than three pounds, I think. And if you get the shorter handle, like I would probably use um, a lot of, it would be even less. It's like the the heavy duty and the, the, the light, light, duty. light duty. And then these two right here, whoops, are a little bit different. So this is the Felco 230 and you can see the anvil pruner right here. This is a straight right here. And this is the 231, which has the curve. So I actually didn't know the difference between like what these things did. So this right here, this type is really good if you've got dead wood, because you guys know how hard it is to cut through dead, dried up wood. It is so hard. And this allows you to apply a ton more pressure and it's really good for that. However, you do have to make sure if you're using this for other type of pruning to keep your blades really sharp because this blade, this type with the flat, could tend, tend to bruise your branches a little bit easier than this type which pierces through a little bit easier. But if you keep it sharp, it's not a big deal. Um, but if you've got a lot of dead wood to clear and, and stuff, this is really good. Anyway, they actually sent us two of these 231s. See, there's an extra pair. 
So I think we're just gonna give that pair away to one of you guys. We don't need two of these. So to enter the giveaway for these, just comment below, no big deal. Just like tell me how your day's going. That's it, <laughs> super easy. We only have one extra pair, so we will pick a winner from YouTube. So if you're not watching this, video on YouTube and you comment, I mean, I really want to know how your day is going, but it will not enter you to wear a pair of loppers. Yeah. So you have to run over to YouTube and comment there because that's where we'll pick the winner. Anyway, we should start in. It is actually beautiful out here tonight. Our high was 85 today. It doesn't feel that hot right now. And we have a slight breeze. So it feels really good. We've actually been like this morning, I did, I did a video project early and then we kind of did other work. We had calls today and got some computer work done and then we did we're gonna do this project tonight it's kind of nice to spread it out when it gets hot it's supposed to be a hundred on Wednesday Aaron really? yeah did you mean for that to go behind you no I don't have very good aim I saw that land in the flower bed Aaron uh oh <gasps> oh go inside and go up there do you want to get started and all go get the ball for oh me? Gee, <laughs> sure. This whole video was spawned from Aaron saying that he noticed a, uh, noticed some trees that needed to be pruned. <laughs> I was like, ooh, let's do that project together. So anyway, I guess I got myself into it. So you may have already noticed we're here in Versailles uh, and we've got some low hanging locust branches. These, This is gonna be really easy. There's nothing major we have to do right here, but check this out. Like as I'm walking, if I walk like, and I'm not super tall, I'm 5'4", and I'm hitting these branches like this. So I mean, imagine if you're Aaron, we really need to lift this canopy up so that it's comfortable for Aaron and people like my dad and brother who are really tall um, to walk underneath these trees. Uh oh, you got this bud, good job. Kind of fun to kick it, huh? Uh oh. Oh. So, for all this low hanging stuff, since they're such small branches, I'm just going to reach up and use my twos. Look, it split. How have I not noticed this? It must have happened in our one of our big windstorms that we've had. It looks totally healthy on both sides. I can't even believe it. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to lash this together with chain or something until we can figure out what we need to do here. We had planned on redoing Versailles at some point, but it was kind of far down the road. Like I was kind of hoping we wouldn't be, be doing anything in here for maybe like the next five or so years at least uh, because I've got some like big plans but it's gonna take some major moving around in this area um, but when something like this happens sometimes those projects get bumped up the pro uh, priority list so I wonder what we're gonna skip in order to figure this out what I'm thinking for the time being we'll probably get a piece of chain and go around that big branch like around the backside and then lash it around this branch just so that uh, until we can get the tree service out here, if we get another windstorm, which we've been getting a big one about once a week, um, we won't have it crash down and hurt anybody. And that right there is the reality of gardening. It just happens. Well, that looks quite a bit better in terms of leaf canopy, I think. I think cars will be able to get under it a little bit easier and definitely people can walk under it better. And while I was finishing up pruning, which I'm trying to stay out from underneath this tree, I lightly pr pruned the rest of this that needed it. Um, we kind of decided I'll call our tree guy tomorrow morning and get on his schedule. They're usually pretty good to get out if it's a situation like this. Aaron's like, I don't want this tree here at all with that sort of issue because that crack goes really far down the trunk. Um, so we'll have this taken out which will be an incredible bummer in terms of like it's the hottest part of the year <laughs> and this provides a ton of shade uh, and i do like this tree i mean i even though we had planned on kind of restructuring this whole area i wasn't ready to say goodbye to the tree yet um so that's uh, kind of a huge big big bummer 
Anyway, so we'll have this one removed now and then we'll take our time. We'll leave the other one for now. Um, I think that that one's maybe got some potential problems coming up. Locust trees typically have to be treated in our area for borers. Um, and I'm not sure that they've been treated their entire lives. And if you miss a year, it's really, it's a kind of a done deal almost um, and it can weaken the tree. So we'll eventually have the second one taken out and we'll over the course of probably the winter, we will think about how we wanna restructure this. And honestly, it will be for the best because these little jelly beans, you know, the grass shape, I've got one right in front of me. These little jelly beans that are kind of out in the middle of Versailles, these little islands, they actually don't have water to them. So we still have to pull sprinklers on these jelly beans and it takes six sets of water to get them done. Um, so it's be nice to restructure and do things properly. I lost my boys. I don't know where they went. I think they went on a walk around the house. Oh, here comes Benjamin with his lawnmower. I think we're gonna move to the pine trees next and hopefully we don't find any more surprises in any of the trees this evening. So the pine trees right here, we use this as a walkway slash like a pathway for the gator. And you can see the angel statue here. The pine tree has kind of started to weigh down here. And oh, thanks bud, bringing me my water. What a sweetie. And this one right here, I would run smack into it with my face, <laughs> which is no good, especially for a pine. So we are going to, well, Aaron is going to kind of shave off some of these lower branches. Hopefully it alleviates enough weight that we don't have to even consider taking the entire like the big the big branch down because that would be uh, would it be sad <laughs> I don't know <laughs> maybe <laughs> so anyway he's gonna go so after this it this one yep right? yep and this is one of the the lopper that we're giving away you guys so we'll see it in yeah. action this one yes please this one mm-hmm Oh, already so much better. Yes. And then one more, I think. Yeah, look at that. Too bad we're not doing this at this Christmas time. Go, right? I agree, yeah. Oh, and then there's a dead one. Mm -hmm. Can you reach? Ooh, nope. Which ladder did you bring out? Um, I don't know. I think that's the hybrid, the four foot hybrid. That's got like the big platform steps. There's like a lot of dead in this side where it doesn't yeah. get a lot of light. That's a dead one right there. Look at that. that. Looks great. Now can you take some of these off? See how we can't see the angel from this direction? Yeah. Oh, look at you up there. Whoa. Great job, bud. Okay, this one. Yeah, you're so tall. Oh, so much better already. Yeah, that looks so much better. <gasps> Whoa, I wish we would have done that a while ago. Like this one has needed it for this a while. Sure. You're so tall, bud. You wanna help, bud? We're gonna put these in the gator. Oh, Aaron, I wonder, should we do some of these, just the lower ones, right on this branch? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, yes, that one in particular. Um, I that honestly, one? uh, that one's low. okay. And then this one. Okay. Yeah, you could do the other one next to it too, probably. Let's get all these branches picked up. To tackle tonight are the maples on the west side. We just want to lightly limb them up just a tiny bit to kind of train them. And I also want to give you an update on the spring snow crab apple that the gophers almost took out this spring. It's looking pretty good right now. What do you have? Do you have one of my camera batteries? <gasps> can I have that? Did you find that? What a good boy. Good job. Hey, can you grab your water? Is there more? Is, is there more? <laughs> I knew you found it in the gator. Is that where you found my batteries? Good job. Thank you. Keep those in my pocket. All right, you ready to ride again? So 
over here on the west side, ooh, the sun is getting lower. You can see the red point maples have grown. This is why I love this tree. They are amazing. But we just want to start training them up a tiny bit. So we're gonna take off just a little bit of this lower growth. I'm not even sure that every single one of them needs it, Aaron. Like no, this next do one doesn't look like it. We just need to be careful to keep, to keep it to where we have room to drive. Yeah. Well, and then that way we don't have to make any major cuts later on. Yeah. So that would be good. All right. Wanna start in? Sure. So I think this one should go right here. That whole branch? Uh-uh. Yeah. No one. way. Oh, maybe just this little Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know what? This is more of a... That's a Falco 2. This is a Falco 2. Project. Ah, dang. I get so excited <laughs> to use stuff. Hold on. Where did I put them? There they are. No, those are my 14s. Where are my 2s? I think they must be buried. Under might, all this? We might have to go... Oh, right here. Oh, you found them? Lucky. I never find them that easy. It's so disappointing when you don't have the... The job isn't big enough for the tool that you have. <laughs> well, you got to use them a little bit. You gave them a little workout. That's good. And then I think these two right here. Yeah, that's better. Mm -hmm. You can see we want to train these from a young age to create a natural curvature so that we'll be able to drive under them easily. <laughs> Benjamin's taking a rest. What a cutie. Oh, hey, while we're here, let's hop over to that other red point by the um, oh, hose. Yeah. There's just that one wonky branch. So I remembered that this red point maple that we have near our kitchen flower bed has this one wild branch that I'm going to cut. It needs to come out. Also, this tree is exhibiting some signs of chlorosis. See that right there? The dark green veins and the brighter foliage there. I have treated with iron tone, so hopefully we'll see some improvement, but I'll probably treat again here how long ago did I treat? Like a couple months? No, a month? Weeks? <laughs> I think I wrote it down somewhere. I'll check my notes, but I need to reapply. Anyway, so second one looks good. These are incredible growers. That bottom one right there can go and that's it. No, the whole thing can go. You, sneaker. I didn't know you were taking the whole thing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I know. Almost done, sweetie. Whoa. Oh, good catch. I was just gonna try to rush it in. I feel fine. I think that that pretty much concludes. Yeah, for now. Okay, so I want to show you this spring snow crab apple. We have footage, Aaron, of that gopher, right? Of how it looked, like the, how it rocked. So yeah, the gopher just rolled through this area and ate the main root system out of the, from underneath this spring snow crab apple. I was super bummed because I love this tree. It's already got some nice size down here. It's multi-trunk, which I prefer. I love multi-trunk trees. And I just noticed one day the leaves were looking kind of withered, came over here and I could rock the entire plant. Like I could have pulled it out with one hand if I wanted to. And so what I did was I went and grabbed some compost and biotone and I just packed the whole gopher run full of compost and biotone as much as I could. Like I pushed it into that gopher run as far as it was, would go and then I put a slow hose on it and I did the slow hose thing for a little while. Like I just made sure it was deep soaked and look at it. And it's been hot and windy and I think it might survive unless we have some kind of weird like severe winter, I think we'll be in the clear. Don't you love gardening success stories like that? Especially after seeing the split locust tree in Versailles, which is, it is a bummer. Like I say that it's only kind of a bummer, but it is a, it is a huge bummer. I wasn't ready for that. And here's a look at the row of maple trees. That looks really good. Really good. So this is where we're gonna end this video so you guys can have one last look at this split locust tree. Look at that, starts there, goes all the way down to here. 
we'll probably do a video or at least try to get some footage of when this tree comes down because it's going to dramatically change the look of this garden which I'm not sure I'm prepared for but it's just something that I'm gonna have to get used to because can't have that going on anyway hope this video was helpful just to see some of the things that we're trying to maintain and keep up on around the property and we always feel like if we keep up on things when they're small it gets it's so much easier when they get bigger because when you have to deal with big structural issues it can be a big problem with the tree so it's always good to just keep up on those little pruning jobs and that way you don't have any big issues in the future so anyway don't forget to enter the giveaway for that extra pair of Felcos that we have. All you have to do, remember, is just comment down below this video on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.